Jonah's still growing strong on the morning chores. Got a little help from the mountain board. Got a lot of scraps. He's gonna fill the rest of the bucket up with grains. You helping him now? And this little guy. <laughs> Are you having a good morning? Look, he's wanting to climb down the stairs by himself. Can you show how you can climb down the stairs by yourself? Yeah. Whoa! You are just getting to be such a big boy. This morning I want to check my inventory for my low tunnels. I have the metal poles. You saw me last night get the cloth to put over them. Not last night, yesterday. And then, what else do we need? Oh, rock sacks too, like uh, weight, weight sacks. Okay, I've got plenty of all that, but I just need to know how many, how many I'll need. I know I have more than I need based on looking at it. What do you see? Is that an animal? Yeah. Is that what you're calling that? Mm. Yeah, that's a... Uh, no, I don't think that's an animal. Yeah. Nope, it's an old pear. Uh -huh. You want to hold that? Yeah. Okay, so we're getting this out yeah. to measure how yeah. far we have to go with it. All right, let's get inside and measure it, okay? Baby. And uh, you can help me. I'll get you over, okay? Come on. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Look. Let me show you how to do this. Yeah. Okay, here, start up here. No. Start up here. No. And then we reset this button. Okay, now you push it. Okay, push it. Just go straight ahead. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Go. You're doing great. No. Getting a little distracted. Don't get distracted. Keep focused. Keep focused. Okay, what do we got? 33 feet. So now we need to go and remember how wide we make these low tunnels. And then we need to calculate how much vegetables we have in the greenhouse. And so then, and then their spacing to see how much, to see how many low tunnels we need. We may just be able to get away with one. They, they're a little bit wider than I remember. So we probably will be able to get away with one. So for these low tunnels, I consulted Mr. Winter Harvest Garden himself, Elliot Coleman, and looked it up. The poles are four feet apart. Can you see that? The, full, the poles are four feet apart, and it's 30 inches across there. So that tells me a lot. Well, I've got to find out the spacing, and then I can go look at what the greenhouse and calculate it and figure out how much room I need. Hey, before I take an inventory of my plants, I see the boys are about to let out the posse. What are you doing? You hiding over there in the corner? You hiding in the corner? Okay, you guys got your feet out. That's good. All right, ready? Release the hounds. So I was trying to film this hibiscus plant right here and talk about it a little bit, but Mr. Brown kept calling me and he was in the coop. Now he's out, but we went and what he was wanting is to tell me that they're out of kelp. Yeah, come on, go up in there. No. You can't? Yeah. Come on out here, I'll help you. Yeah. He can't do it with the, uh... <laughs> oh, you okay? Yeah. All right, there you go. Yeah. Now pour it in there. Okay. They're out of kelp, guys, and they're, sl they're still jamming with the eggs. This is like spring again or something. Hang, hang on, okay, you're doing good. Can you tilt it a little? Okay, there we go. Good boy. Thank you for noticing that. What? Can you show me? Oh, are they out of oreganite too? Yep, they're out of that too. You want to get some of that? Yeah. Okay. Here, can you hold this and then I'll hold you? All right, bend over to get through. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You like this? Bye, bye. Hey, everybody else is laughing. No, They've no. gone inside. They no, finished their chores. No, no. They've gone inside to play puzzles. No, no. Donald. Yeah. And you're out here with me. Yeah. All right, there you go, buddy. Oh. We've got the aragonite up here. That helps them with their no. calcium and producing these eggs. Oh. Yeah. They don't run out as quick as they need that kelp, but we'll get them some more greens because that may be just what they need. Good one. Mama. Let's go get him some greens. Come on. You want me to carry? You carry that and I'll carry you. Yeah. 
first, Mr. Brown, let's get him some comfrey. Oh look, some dandelion. That they like that. Now we have lettuce over here that has bolted, which means it's shot up, it's going to seed, and I'm kind of wondering if that has embittered it. I know the heat can embitter lettuce, but I'm wondering if, if bolting can embitter it. It embitters it. <laughs> Whoo! So definitely let's harvest that for the chickens because they don't seem to care. You see Donald, he sprint over here to see this. Okay, what I wanted to say about these hibiscus is that we have some flowers dying off, like that right there. So when those die off, we can harvest this and dry it out for tea. It's close, guys, and we any day it could, it could frost. I'm not sure exactly how the frost will affect these things, but I'm sure pretty, pretty roughly. I don't think they're gonna take kind to it. Now look, the chickens are loving the hibiscus. I even see them out here jumping to get these. It's so funny. Some of these are still able to flower despite being in here with the chickens. That one might even be more mature. Gonna take a little bit of an inventory in here. Full tray of lettuce, full tray of turnips, three quarter tray of spinach, full tray of bunching onions. I don't know, I don't know. That's kind of looking kind of rough. So I'm gonna say, I don't know, maybe five or six collards, and then maybe a half a tray of Swiss chard down there. You guys love the sequence shot so much of the chickens going in their coop at night. I was thinking, what else could we do for a sequence shot? I think it would be awesome. I might leave the camera right here, and we'll watch them go in and out and laying their eggs this morning. Won't that be cool? But first, I wanna clean up some of the more tougher vegetation, like this one. This is stuff that would just take the chickens. They will eventually get it, but we're wanting to turn it over. So we're gonna flip that upside down for them. They're gonna find a lot of life in there to eat. They're gonna find the little treats. We'll just uh, go through here and just get what little bit left they didn't get and just speed up the process a little bit. That's awesome. <laughs> Super <laughs> All right, so we are up at the lake and the kids have said that they have found some deer prints. They look like deer prints. Looks like there's a baby too. How many deer do you guys think were here? A whole, a whole. How many, Lily? A herd? Probably about 20 or 10. Really? I know. Coming to you live from the lake with 20 deer. Um, we are about to, that we built and follow me. Check it out, guys. What is this? Shelter. Is it a shelter? What do you do in your shelter? Uh, be safe from storm.
What's your favorite part about playing in the mud? Um, I love to get to wear a bath. You love when you get to take a bath after? You guys cold? Yeah. It's the afternoon. I just want you to see this beautiful bunch. This is hilarious. Jonah, Jonah, show him how it's done. And then Gideon's copying him. And he was putting his hands up in the air. Good job. We are trying our best to get this thing going this evening before it gets too dark. Trying to get the controller connected with our iPhone to communicate to that, to communicate to the warranty, all a bunch of kinds of crazy, complicated stuff. It's starting to get dark out there. We're gonna give it a try. No! <laughs> God, it's dark now. There's no way. And we didn't get the drone ready. We're having an issue with the warranty. We're a little nervous to fly it for our first time without warranty. Hopefully we're gonna get it worked out tomorrow and we'll get that thing flying. We'll do some test runs. If not, we're gonna eventually get it. We're gonna work it out. 